and then try to do something different a little bit. You know, not okay. Tradition is great. Tradition is great. But tradition is the information, that's the source. You know, okay. It's all. It started with the George Harrison. Right? George Harrison started. George Harrison went to India, and then Ravi Shankar, and then people slowly start to go to India. And this seemed to me, if you want to play fusion music, you must really, you know, you must learn something quite in depth. What I noticed is that, um, okay, if you study Makam, Makam theory, what you learn is that there are no scales. First thing you must understand about Oriental music is there are no scales. Scale, scale, concept of scale, forget it. But raga, you play. A very short history of myself. I uh, started out as a uh, rock, blues, music, and uh, kind of um, was touring around Canada, northern Canada, and uh -huh. finally I got quite ill, actually. Very, this lifestyle, also the electric and the sound and this kind of everything. Even when I was very young, I really liked that, you know, I, really, I mean, I still like it. My favorite kind of music is, you know, Grand Funk and Black Sabbath. I really, I love that music. I, when I was 20, I got very ill, actually, on the road, and started having skin problems and no energy. So I knew I needed to change something in my life. To make a long story short, when I, when I first started to hear, you know, like, sitar, Indian music, and also Arabic music, this music kind of really touched me in the, in the sense that it had the same kind of powerful energy for me. Well, not more, but just the same powerful energy, but also it had more dimensions also. It had also contemplative dimension. So, and also, you know, we used to play, you know, play the rock and roll band and all this, and then sort of, like, it was like three, four hours loading the marshals into the camion, and marshal, camion, marshal, oh, yeah, and then bully, you know. So much work and then a sound check, goom, goom, goom. you know. I mean, yeah. you know, with Oriental music, even the one instrument, you know. So I was thinking a lot about this before. Why? Because I love to practice Hendrix, Hendrix, you know, and Led Zeppelin, and I could play all that stuff by the time I was 14, 15 years old. But nobody cares. Playing the bar, right? Playing the Rolling Stone, man. You know, okay, it's all, it started with the George Harrison, right? George Harrison started, George Harrison went to India, and then Ravi Shankar, and then people slowly start to go to India. But in the 90s, really in the 80s, 90s, really a lot of people traveling to India, the Middle East, learning Oriental music. And so in the 90s, it started to be a lot of fusion music, fusion, like uh, world music, fusion music. Right? But the problem is that 
with this fusion music is that you would take uh, some, somebody from Bangladesh and put them with somebody from Norway and then just, uh, okay, play together. You know, guy from Norway, he has no idea what is Bangladesh music. Guy from Bangladesh has no idea what is Norwegian music. And this music come together, they must reach the lowest, lowest common denominator they must find. So, uh, I thought to myself also, after studying, I studied Indian music really, really quite seriously, very seriously, Indian music, and later Middle Eastern music also. So, it just seemed to me, if you want to play fusion music, you must really, you know, you must learn something quite in depth about what you are, what you are using, what system you're not. So, oh, here's a raga, and uh, okay, this raga, saragama paradisa. Okay, oh, put on guitar. This is raga. No, I mean you must go to depth and then combine. In India, the system, the melodic system, is called raga. Okay, and in the Middle East, the melodic system kind of or similar. It's called Makam. Okay? It's clear, I'm And um, so in Indian, in Oriental music, nema harmonia, there are no chords. There's nothing a chord, there's no chords, there's melody and rhythm. Okay? So uh, I thought how to, you know, how to combine combine ragas and makams together, not in superficial way. Like, I'll give you an example of superficial. Raga Kirvani would be...
But in Turkish music, you have microtones. So, so the whole tone is divided into nine commas. Whole tone, we have two semitones. Whole tone, semitone, semitone. Turkish music, you have nine. But that's also theory. That's also oh no theory. This is, it gives you an idea. So this in hijaz, this first note sorry, would be plus one comma. So you'd have a Okay? 
uh, you can call it Ushak tetrachord or Bayati tetrachord. Arabs call it Bayati tetrachord, the Turks call it Ushak tetrachord, and the Persians call it, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so this tetrachord only. Now, if you start from and you go up to the fourth note, I'm a little bit out of tune, don't mind, okay? Yeah. The fourth note, now go from the fourth note, I play a pentachord up to the octave. This is a busalik. Pentachord. Pentachord. So this is the scale. Ushak, tetrachord, busalik. Uh, tetrachord, boostly, and Okay? So what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makam. And um, the, point of, the point of I'm describing this because this is a, I call a rad makam tar. Okay? Rad makam tar. On this one, I'm playing makams. On this, ragas. Because when you play, for example, Indian music, okay? If you play Indian music, as soon as you start playing, you, you're playing raga. Raga is like a, okay, scale. I mean, you can think scale. But it's not scale, but it's like what scale are you, are you using, which mode, modal. Raga is an anpaka, is like a modal grammar, okay? Because in the West, in the West, we have major scale. We only have scale, okay? Scale is okay. You know, and all notes, all notes are equal status. There is no grammar. It's only scale. You understand? So raga is not scale. Raga is scale plus direction. Is grammar and uh, character. Cases of the word. Exactly. You know, if, if you, when you play Western music, it's a different system. You have Western music, you have harmony. So you have you have chord progression, right? Chords. Right, and then you have melody. So, and, music, and rhythm, of course. So the melody is always in a relationship between melody and chords, right? This is harmony, okay? This is Western music. Okay, in Oriental music, you have rhythm, you have melody, but you don't have chords, okay? So, but I mean, you sort of have chords, you just have one chord. I mean, in Indian music, you really have one chord. You, I mean, you just call yourself, and, and you know, if you're playing a raga, like uh, a kirwani, for example. So the thing is in, in relationship to that one chord, you have one chord, okay? Yeah, yeah, one chord. In, uh, in uh, Oriental music, sometimes the tonic is shifting a little bit, not very much, just a little bit. Okay, the bass, you have a feeling sometimes like the chord is changing, but not too much. Okay, so this is Beati scale, right? Beati scale. Makam Beati. Okay, first, same scale. I played three makams, okay? First is Ushak. Okay, so this is a little bit Ushak makam. Same, same scale. 
is too important. Body is most important, no. Body, must it be? Uh, I mean, must it be? Tonic, can be. Can be anything, okay? So it's different than, it's not like dominance. Important, no. body. Some, somebody, second, most important, no. And you have direction and other characteristics. So, for example, uh, Rav Garbari Kanada, for example, would be when you first I play a little bit and then. So you don't go 
make mistakes and you go to the near and then you oh I mean bar 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 sounds like uh, you know understand. If you want to learn one you must if you want to learn one raga you must learn three four. This one is a good example. Raga kapi, raga pi. Okay? This is more light, light raga. Same scale. Okay, same scale. But Pilu, Pilu has and very important. Very important. So you play the scale, but stop on the Change important notes to 